noticed that a number of people are having difficulty in all my courses in the past importing data. There are a couple of ways to do it, going from Excel into Adobe Illustrator. I tend to just copy and paste it, which works very well, but I wanted to show you how to import your data. Let's get started. All right, so what I want to do with the data here is I want to export it in a way that Illustrator can read it. Let me show you the export formats that we have here. File, save as. .xlsx is not going to work. Probably easiest is the tab delimited text, .txt. So I'm going to click on that one and choose my save location. This one is going to my sample data demonstration folder. I'm going to click that. And it says some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as a tab delimited txt. That means it's going to lose the colors in the background and stuff. Click OK. Now I have that data in another file and I should be able to grab it that way for Illustrator. So this is my folder sample data to demonstrate in videos that I saved that to. I'm going to open that file. You can see I have it in the XLX version, but this is the plain text txt version. This is the file that I'm going to need to use. Okay, so now I have Illustrator open. I'm going to start with a letter size paper. As this is opening, remember what we're going to do is we're going to take the data that we exported and place it into a chart in Illustrator. So now I'm going to grab my chart tool. I have a simple column graph here. I'll just use that for now to demonstrate. And I'm going to draw out what my graph shape will be like. And you know, these are always subjective and I can always change these things. Once this is loaded, now I can come and get my data, which is this import data. Click on that. Navigate to the folder where they had the data saved. Click open. And there it is. It's, it's all loaded in there. Notice I took out my zeros for carrot cake and pumpkin spice. When I click the check mark, boom, I have a chart. This is a clustered column chart. It put all the flavors down at the bottom. Notice that these are all crossing over each other and it looks terrible. That's okay, we can fix that. And we have six bars for every flavor based upon the six months. I can see if this looks better with the months here and then with the donut flavors being the bars. The way I would do that, first I have to bring back the data sheet tool. So I'm going to go to object, go down to graph, click on data, and it brings my data back. Um, this transpose row and column is going to switch the months and the donut flavors. So if I did that and I click the checkbox, you see I get donut flavors here and I get my months along here, which is probably a little bit of a cleaner design. So you can actually make a choice to see which one you like better. That's how you import. Like I said, you could always copy and paste, which is what I do because I'm trying to make it simpler and faster. There we go. Uh, things are starting to already look much better like a chart. All right, so when you're getting started, that's how you import the data.